So in today's video, I've got a super fast and compact storage solution for you, whether it be for your iPhone, your iPad, your MacBook, basically any device that has USB-C, this could be something you find very useful. Now it's the DecoKey M.2 NVMe enclosure, and I've been using it for the past week, and I'm gonna answer in this video what I like about it, some things I had questions about, the price where you can buy it, and finally, we're gonna do some speed tests to see what it's capable of. But before we get to that, if it's your first time here, I'm Almir, aka Mr. H Tech, and on this channel we make tech simple. Do consider subscribing below if you do enjoy tech content and you wanna see more content like this. So let's get started. So I do have to say, DecoKey actually sent me this out to test and try out and see how I like it. Now, they have no input on what I can and can't say in this video, and everything I do say is my own personal opinion because there is something I'm not quite a fan of, but we'll discuss that more in the questions and improvements section later on. So the Deco Key M.2 NVMe enclosure is a fully tool-free assembly, so whether you want to take the lid off or you want to take the back plate off, it's all magnetic, no need for a screwdriver, which I personally like. And the reason it can be so compact is it holds this NVMe 2230 sizing, which is not as often seen as the typical 2280 sizing. However, once we put them side by side, you can really see the difference. It's half the size of it. And when you're using something for portability and to be compact, put it in your pocket or attached to a device, that sizing plays an important role. Now, something I like to do with this is connect it directly to my iPhone, just plugging it straight in there like that and recording that high quality log footage on here. And as just as an example, about one minute of that 4K 60 log footage from my iPhone 15 recorded to here is about 10 gigabytes of storage. So it's a good thing that you can store up to two terabytes of storage on here using the drive if you want. Now, of course, speeds will differ depending on which drive you get, but generally they will be around the same ballpark figure. And I've got a speed test later on to show you exactly what it's capable of when it comes to that kind of stuff. Now, bear in mind, this is just a pre-production model, so things may change, and there is some stuff I wanna see improved, which we will talk about in the questions and improvements section. However, for now, it's, it's been a pretty, pretty nice device, in my opinion. You can also, on their Kickstarter campaign, get just one of these for $49 as part of an early offer, or you can buy three of them, or you can buy, they've got a hub as well they're making, which stores three of these top-down, so if you put two terabytes storage in each one, that will give you a total of six terabytes of storage, which is just an insane amount of storage. And it's not slow storage either for your device, which might be a nice addition. So I might look into getting one of them as well. Now, for the things I like about this, I like the size of it. I like that it's nice and compact and portable. I can put it in my pocket or just connect it to any device and not worry about it being too heavy and bending or falling off. I like that the USB-C connector is actually out, like a mail connector, because it allows me to plug it into any device I want with USB-C connection, and I don't have to search for a cable. But if for some reason that connector won't plug into your device, whether you have a thick case on or something like that, you do get this extension cable, which you connect can connect the cable to the uh, closure and then connect this end to your device and use it as you normally would. Now you do get an RGB fan in there as well, and some, that's something I'm not very, I'm not such a fan of, no pun intended. Like I said, we'll talk about that in the next sections. And I like that it's a tool-free assembly. I like that I don't have to look for a screwdriver because for example, one like this, if I ever wanna take the NVMe drive out, I have to find a tiny screwdriver and take all four screws out to get access to it. But with this one, it's more just a pull-off and pull-back section. And for $49, I think it's pretty affordable considering what you get. On the back, we've got two switches, as you can see there. Now, the first switch is to turn on and off the RGB light on the fan. So if you're not a fan of RGB light, you can turn that off. And then the second switch is to put the drive into a read-only mode. So if you're giving someone the drive or you want someone to have access to the files on the drive without being able to amend anything, you can put that on and you should be good to go. So when it comes to the questions and improvement section, the first thing and the major thing I would say that needs improving is this fan. Now, this fan runs at 15,000 RPM and that's constant. There's no way to turn it down, there's no way to turn it off, and as you can imagine, that can get pretty loud. So let me connect it to my iPhone just to give you an example of how much noise it, it actually makes. It's 
and that's constant so as long as you have that plugged in that is making that noise obviously if you're listening to loud music or something that won't bother you but if you're in a quiet environment it can get pretty annoying and that's the first thing I mentioned to them and they have assured me that they plan to decrease the fan size and reduce their noise and also one of the switches on the back that I showed you before is going to be able to turn the actual fan off so if they can manage to do that that's going to be such a great thing because at the minute if you're trying to record on your iPhone directly onto the device the iPhone is going to pick up all that fan noise and it won't sound very good but switching that fan noise off if they do what they've said they're going to do that's going to be a great great upgrade and something minimal that I would say is this back case although it's magnetic and I like the tool free assembly it does come off quite easy and the problem is if you have it plugged into a device and you you really need to hold it at this top section up here when you're pulling it out of the device because if you don't this is what happens so you go to unplug the device you grab it by the sides and then the back case just comes off so like I said it is a pre-production model so this is things that I believe they are going to fix and the people that are buying this on Kickstarter the upgraded model is what you're going to get you're not going to be getting this one so when it comes to the speed test, I've actually recorded a 4K60 log footage from my iPhone directly onto this and one minute of that is approximately around 10 gigabytes of storage. So let's, let me show you and plug this into my MacBook and just show you how fast it transfers over. So here I've got a screen recording. On the left here this folder is from the Deco key and the right folder is on my actual MacBook. The file here I have is the log footage one minute clip that is 9.91 gigabytes so quite a lot of storage if you think about it and I'm going to drag it over and let's see how long it takes for it to transfer over 10 gigs of storage so it's starting and it is essentially done so I don't know if that took less than 10 seconds for it to transfer over 10 gigabytes of storage which in my opinion is very fast and for the final speed test section I'm going to use the Blackmagic Design Disk Speed Test so let's select the actual target drive and we've got Deco key there now I'm sure if I do the one gigabyte speed test it's going to throw up a big figure but what we really want to show is the five gigabytes just to show how it does over a, a longer period of time because if I do one gigabyte speed test we get a write speed of almost 1700 and a read speed of almost 900 which is great numbers but let's change that to 5 gigabyte just to get a more accurate reading so as you can see for the 5 gigabyte file we're getting around gigabit per second on the right and we're still getting the 900 on the read so still great great speeds I mean if it's good enough to record log footage straight from the iPhone, I think it will be good enough for any data transfer things that I have to do. So yeah, I just wanted to show you this just so you get an idea of what the actual drive is capable of. Bear in mind these things can differ depending on what NVMe drive you have in the actual enclosure. So that was the Deco Key M.2 NVMe enclosure. And if this seems like something you're going to be interested in, whether it be to just transfer data between your different USB-C devices quickly, or you want to record that high quality log footage directly from your iPhone onto it, check the link in the description and grab one before the prices rise. Now, I'm definitely going to be using this. It's a nice, compact, fast storage option that I can take anywhere. And as always, thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet and like the video if you liked it. Thanks for the support and I will catch you on the next one.